and welcome to my channel today i've got another makeup tutorial for you and this time is finally another body paint so let's hurry up and get started Okay, so uh, first off, yes, I am wearing clothes. It's actually a um, strapless bra with a shirt stuffed into it, but hey, it works. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you that. Anyway, um, I want to go for sort of like hippie vibes, like, you know, 60s flower power, love and peace sort of like vibes, but like springtime and all. That made more sense in my head, yes. Anyway, so I want to keep my face quite bare because I feel like that's more of a hippie thing than, you know, full on cut creases. I am going to put some regular makeup on uh, this thing though, because I, I, I just squeezed this out, so concealer. And yes, I'm well aware that you shouldn't squeeze out pimples. I just barely get pimples, and when I do get them, I need more concealer. They really, 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 really annoy me. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, <laughs> try to hide this, put a lot of paint on it, that sort of stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm also wearing the same concealer below my eyes and also I'm wearing some uh, eyebrow gel because I gotta go pick up my groceries later and how do I get... Why do I have glitter? Oh, there's glitter on this. Damn it. Okay, so there's also going to be random glitter in this look apparently. But anyways, what I'm trying to say was I need to go pick up my groceries later and I'm way too vain to do that without any makeup on. Okay, now what I'm doing first, uh, glitter aside, is just mapping out where I want stuff to be. Now you won't really be able to see this because I'm using a nude pencil um, on very fair skin. But the reason behind that is that I really want to be able to still easily go over this with the paint without the pencil being very visible. So yeah, just a pencil in like pretty much the same color as your skin is just really the best you can do. Okay, so my eye pencil is basically doomed now. But anyway, for the body paint, I'm going to use three different brushes. These are just eyeshadow brushes. Um, because like I mentioned before, the body paint I use is water-based. So it won't ruin your brushes, which is very nice. Anyway, for the painting, I really hope you can sort of tell what I've been doing. I, I really can't tell the viewfinder if it's any, in any way visible. Anyway, but I'm just going to uh, go over this with the paint and just color in the spots basically where the things are going to be i'll just show you now i'm not going for specific flowers here because i don't actually know anything about flowers i only know how to kill plants um <laughs> but yeah anyways uh so they're just you know fantasy flowers basically you could go for actual like hippie flowers you know like the ones on like the volkswagen vans the old volkswagen vans they're so cool anyway um but yeah, that's just not really my style. I want something more, a little bit more realistic. So I'm going for more realistic flowers, I suppose. Or at least that's the plan. Now, uh, we have this, and I'm just going to do shaping. Why is there a face behind me according to my camera? That's really creepy. Anyway, um, but I'm just using black body paint with a very, very, very little water. Like, you know, half a molecule of water, basically. Because I really just want a little bit of a color, or, you know, technically black is a shade, just like white. It's like the lack of light, and white is like... Too much light anyway uh, technicalities about colors and stuff um, in art aside i'm just going to use very little of it so i just get a little bit of a wash of darkness there and then blend it out i'm doing this with an eyeliner brush by the way 
But like you could go for like, like I'm going for more of a realistic sort of vibe. Um, you could of course go for something completely not realistic. You could go for, like I said, the complete cartoony flowers. You could go for complete photorealism. Although if you're going for complete photorealism, seriously, let me know how the heck you do that. Because that seems really, really, really difficult to do with body paints. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go for this because this is something I know how to do. And, you know, I, I sort of want this body paint to just look good. And I don't want to spend 12 hours trying to fix my own mistakes. Because I need to go pick up my groceries in like half an hour. With the body paint on. No, I'm not sure how I'm going to wear coats, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah. But just do what you like. Now that we have the darkness, it's also time, of course, to add the light. So, I'm going to do that by using white body paint. Um, if you're going for a cartoony style, by the way, I highly recommend using a uh, white eyeliner by NYX, for example. I have that one, it's really good, uh, but I recommend using that instead, because that will really give you the stark white lines. Whereas this is just going to blend with the color below it. Which, you know, is what I'm going for with my more, like, watercolor art style. Um, but yeah, it just depends on what you... Are trying to go for and you know basically it's just a case of you know following what nature usually does by itself like the darkness is where the shadows hit and the light is where the light hits logic and all so basically on the inside of the leaves petals as you say is where the shadows are and then on the outside of the petals I'm just making a bit of a speck of light. Okay, and here we are. Um, I also picked up my groceries just now with a uh, denim jacket on without actually ruining the body paint. So I'm quite pleased with myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, now it's time to go do the peace symbol. I'm going to do that in a bit of a rainbow vibe, but with dots. You'll see. Now, we're done with the paint, so I'm just applying some highlight now in the shape of a um, purplish pink eyeshadow. So this highlighter is going to be um, there, it's going to be present, it's not actually a highlighter, it's literally just an eyeshadow. Actually, come to think of it, I'm also going to apply it on my eyelids very lightly. Well, you know, lightly for it being an eyeshadow, not lightly in the general shape of things. I've also applied this highlighter on the highest points of my chest here. Just, you know, so it exists. 
Next up, a little experiment. I'm taking this palette, smacking my brush into it, so I get this result. And then I'm just going to put it somewhere on my skin. To give myself weird rainbow spots. Also, by the way, I do recommend putting your brush in different parts of the palette, because chances are you're not going to get the entire palette immediately. And, you know, you sort of want to have the entire rainbow and not just a part of it. Now next up I'm just applying some sort of like hint at leaves and I'm just doing that by painting on some weird green lines. I'm not sure if this still counts as impressionism by the way, like it's just, it's, it's my own vibe, you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's an entire new style, you know. We don't play by the rules. Now next up I want some uh, more emphasis on the peace symbol because I sort of feel like it fades away between all the colorful stuff. So I'm just darkening the area around it with a bluish eyeshadow, sort of turquoise shimmery. Just to set it off a little bit more. Now I'm creating a little bit more depth at like the corners here with a, basically this is more of a mauve type of color. It really doesn't matter what color you use as long as it's dark, preferably matte. Because you're going to blend it out so, so softly that it's just basically going to be a shadow. And then lastly we have some mascara and that's it. That's our love, peace, flower, springtime. Ow, that was my contact lens. I did not need that in there. <laughs> and a whole lot of body paint. Which, oh, I just can't, still can't get over how nice this body paint smells by the way. It's, it's completely random I know, but still. As an afterthought we're also adding some nude lipstick. And here we have it, and uh, yeah, I mean, it like, that's the thing, when something comes together, it looks complicated and like a complete work. But as you could just see, it's actually pretty easy to do. Like, the whole trick is to not go for, like, complete realism, but instead just go for detail and go for, like, the vibe. So, yeah, with, like, this entire sketchy style, I really like how it turned out, it's exactly what I wanted. Um, you know, love and peace, we can all use that these days, and yeah flowers so that's uh, it for today i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did enjoy it please click the like button it would really help me out and if you want to see more of my videos you can also subscribe to my channel i do a whole lot of makeup tutorials and also vlogs um if i can actually maintain the love and peace in my own life for the rest of the day well that's doubtful because i'm going to bake a pie i'm going to try to make rhubarb pie and i'm terrible and i'm good at cooking but i'm terrible at baking so wish me luck anyway um, so yeah, for now I'm just going to uh, go off into my kitchen. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!